The man offers to do up the woman's bikini. What? Reedy can't sit back any longer. Get off the beach. You're pretty intimidating, <laughs> eh? <laughs> Hello, everyone. We are the Bondi Rescue Lifeguards. Today, we are reacting to people behaving very inappropriately at Bondi Beach. Roll the tape. Let's have a look. At this stage, he gave the bloke... Bad guys. You feel you <laughs> it's a matter for police. It's <laughs> really gone, though. It looks like he's straight out of castaway. Look at his hair. This 23 year old guy, like, he was drunk, came up and, like, kissed my mate on the cheek. She's only 15. And then he followed us into the water. Um, and then, like, when he couldn't get my mate, he came to me and, like, chucked me into the water. Um, but didn't get my consent to do that. On the shoreline, Lifeguards identify the man. Parts all sorts of things. I got down him. there and I started speaking to the guy. Straight away, I could pick up. The guy's straight on the defensive. Then when we started talking, he kind of knew something was up and that's when he actually stood up towards me. I like seeing Hutchie get fired up. I just love how uh, Harrison stood his ground. Didn't yeah. even move back or budge. I'm guessing Harrison sizing him up to working out. <laughs> What, what, what's going to happen why, next? Why is he sizing him up? <laughs> oh, for a cuddle? For a cuddle, maybe, yeah. yeah. He's, he's a huggable dude. Yeah. The cop was there, you know, he goes up to him and said, look, there's accusations that you've been, you know, harassing young girls. And at this stage, he gave the bloke two options. You can come up on your own terms, or if you're going to play up, we're going to have to handcuff you, and we have to take you up that way in front of everyone. And he kept on arcing up. Without a Right, <laughs> Right, right, right. Solo arrest with the man who won't go willingly. And uh, that's where things escalated once again. I actually think this is why Harrison didn't make the New Zealand team and got <laughs> asked to leave New Zealand because his tackling technique was subpar. Uh, if he just went for the legs, he'd, this would be over in five seconds. Out. Exactly right. He's just wrestling. He's jersey grab. Jersey grab. <laughs> just happened so quickly. All fours. You gotta grab his legs. Come on, Tommy, get in there, mate. There we are, Hutsy. There we are. It's actually pretty rare that we get physically involved um, in altercations. So Hutz always wanted to be a policeman or a fireman, so. I'm surprised Tommy didn't jump in there, especially yeah, seeing as he's a copper now. Bit early for his police career, yeah. but he's um he's doing a good job, Hutz. Yeah. I don't know, he could do a bit of work on his hand locks, <laughs> wrist locks there, but. <laughs> No, he's giving the copper help. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't even know why you guys brought me here. Like, what did I do? Is you creep? Approaching minors and kissing them. Bro, I didn't kiss anyone. It's pretty obvious he's drunk. Listen to the slurring on his voice. Yeah. You would have dealt with a few drunk people back in your day? You mainly. <laughs> but, um, nah, it definitely adds a different spin to our job is the amount of drunk people we have to deal with, whether that's rescuing them, you know, people that have overdosed or passed out, especially on New Year's Day when we start early. But in instances like this, you definitely see alcohol plays, you know, a big part in, one, their choices of behaviour, like obviously maybe he might not do it if he hadn't had 15 cans. Um, but two, their reaction to, you know, when, when something goes wrong, obviously, you know, a lot of the time when people are drunk, they're more aggressive or mm. their, you know, their confidence kind of goes up. So yeah, it's interesting that he's, you know, being caught doing it, but then, you know, showing signs of a bit of intoxication. Some older girls from the group arrived to make statements. I kept running away from him, but he kept following. And then that's when, like, he threw us into the, like, threw me in the water. It's, it's really hard for, especially young girls, to, like, come up and recount the story or to give a statement to the cops. Like, obviously, if they're either, you know, sometimes embarrassed or scared or whatever, so I'm full credit to these girls, because otherwise, it's hard to catch these guys and hard to, you know, make it go to that next step. It's so important to have witnesses. Mm. Like, if we get a situation like, like what's happened and a witness has come up and told us X, Y and Z has happened, it's mm. so important to keep them with us because without a witness, he's just another bloke who we yeah. think has done something wrong on the beach and once again gets off scot-free. He came up to us and he was like, oh, will you take a photo of me? But as he stood up, he, like, started taking photos yeah, of, of us. us. And then we've seen him do it like three times and he was over there before like trying to kiss these girls. So I took a video of him on my Snapchat. 
Today isn't the first time lifeguards have received complaints about this I man. I remember this bloke. Beardy and that had thrown him off the beach a couple of times already. Today, the man is back. They always come back. They always come back. Always. Because if uh, the penalties or the repercussions they just aren't... just get off the beach. Yeah, just get yeah. off the beach. They think they can... Different lifeguards, different day. No one's going to know. Yeah. It's two weeks later. I'm and they be, hide in the crowds they too. They hide. Inappropriate touching can be regarded as assault. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy. This Look at him. Breast. That's a bit creepy. He tries to kiss her. Hey! Come here! Oh, angry Sergeant beauty. Sergeant Slaughter, <laughs> eh? Hey. Kissing girls, touching girls over there. Not touch. Yes, I just saw that. Yeah, stop it. Yeah, that was way inappropriate. If you did that to my daughter or my wife, I'd be very angry. Today, the man is back and he's up to his old tricks. He's fing hustling on these chicks. Look, she's putting her top on and that. The man offers to do up the woman's bikini. What? Reedy can't sit back any longer. Who just randomly does that? I summoned my heavy chest and went down there and tried a bit of a heavy handed approach. Get off the beach. You're pretty intimidating. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to make sure my bark's worth of my bite because my bite's not very big. <laughs> Reedy is cool, calm, and collected. He doesn't. He doesn't have a you know a, a angry bone in his no, body. He He's, so to see him fire up and sort of get stuck into a bloke, it's, it's get good off, to see. It's, get off the beach. It's refreshing. Hmm. Get his dad voice on. <laughs> I remember this guy, he'd been caught a couple of times already a few days before and he was just, just a pest. And so I thought I'd uh, try and muscle him off the beach and look how intimidating I look. <laughs> hey, lucky you had a car. I <laughs> know. Oh, so you could get away if he turned on you. But obviously he was a coward. And he, yes. You know, not many people would run away from me. <laughs> no, but that's one of the big things is when someone knows they're in the wrong and you catch them, their initial reaction is, oh shit, oh, I'm yeah, in the wrong here. I'm done. I better just do what they say because they might not call the cops or they might not uh, take it any further. It gets interesting. I'm pretty sure if I remember right, he takes off and I've got to give chase. Lucky I can run all right. Yes. <laughs> he wouldn't get past you over 42Ks. <laughs> no, no way. You're hassling people on the wait, beach. Wait, wait, you put away people here. Alright, fine, I'll take you to the police station. Get off the beach. And he took off. He just sort of started running. He, it was obvious that he knew what he was doing was wrong. But remarkably, he only relocates to the grassy area. Oh man. So this is the thing, they just keep offence, like they keep repeating. I walked down to South and just monitored him till the police arrived. And as soon as he saw them, he bolted. <laughs> I was in pretty good shape around this time of year. I think I ran a sub 50 city to surf. What are you running for, dude? What I love the stories that they make up when they get caught. Why did you run up the hill? Nice. Just to make it cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Oh, oh man. You yeah. Photos on his phone, yeah. mate. I don't know what he's doing with Nothing. Yeah. I come back to beach. Nothing. Oh, what, what for? What are you doing it for? I mean, I thought, you know, you know, we, we, I had to give chase, and when we finally caught him and went through his phone, I was so disappointed to not find anything on there. But I guess. As we know, phones are getting super technical nowadays and, and he must have been using an app or something because he was definitely taking photos. And as we saw in the footage, he was definitely touching women up. So yeah. um, hopefully karma comes around and gets him eventually. I guess that's one of the things. Now everyone's got access to a camera. Like when we first started on the beach, we were using Nokia's and apart from playing Snake, Snake. <laughs> and Tetris or whatever it was, they didn't do much else. But now like every phone is a potential camera and. Something for you know someone to take either a positive or a negative memory home from the beach. Mid-afternoon, and a rogue photographer has caught the attention of beachgoers. Uh -oh. uh, he took some photos of her as he rolled over, and then he followed him down to the water. So I thought I'd go and give him the heads up. Guy taking photos. What are you doing? What are you doing? Fresh haircut. Fresh fade. Doesn't look back in the day, eh? It's the man near the shoreline. God explained that we needed to have a look at his phone. He was doing something inappropriate and the son had no idea so he was like okay yeah go for it and then he was shocked it's not acceptable yeah, yeah. i just find it amusing how many people we actually catch yeah. taking photos or creeping around like there's definitely a few every year that are doing a pretty 
pretty creepy thing. So it's, <laughs> it's interesting. They're always fun to catch that. Always be vigilant at the beach. You know, always yeah. keep an eye out for people doing dodgy stuff and let the yeah. lifeguards or the police know. Yeah, it's it. But I know you're very similar to me. Just blood boiling stuff. Like yeah, it's, it's horrible. It's it's annoying because you know we've got a wife, we've got mum, sisters, everything yeah. like that, and mate, you just put yourself in the position as if that had happened to them. Oh, it's, you it's just tough. go through the roof. It's tough, and there's and I've done a number over the years, yeah. and I know you have too. You understand? It's not good, mate. As the photos are being deleted by the offender's son, Corey's good. Corey's good. Like he's got a good, strong, heavy hand. I personally believe that his reaction is just. Mm -hmm. Corey, I've seen this plenty of times, and. And I've been with Corey in situations like he's so good at de-escalating yeah. hotheads. Well, so you, good. Well, you need to because hotheads, you know, you say it's just for what the actions of, of doing that. Yeah. But sometimes if they keep going, it could get oh, quite violent. It turns on it them. It turns. And then yeah. they're the ones that come in trouble yeah. or get arrested. Yeah. So, you know, it's, yeah, you're right. Corey yeah. over the years has been he's really so, good at de-escalating yeah. um, situations. Yeah. And you, you too, mate. <laughs> He was ready He's a to punch on with you. So he needs to be careful too. He's obviously on camera. Yeah. <laughs> In this situation, you, no matter what, you always call the cops. Anything to do with the public matter where there's photos being taken or indecent exposure yeah. or someone thieving, you get the police and the rangers down there just as a normal protocol. You know, we can only do so much as lifeguards. We yeah. can try and grab and hold and sustain someone. But at the end of the day, we're lifeguards. We're there to look after everyone on the beach. Yeah. And our main reason for the yeah. job is to keep an eye on the water, make yeah. sure everyone's safe. Because while this is all going on, like you Who's can kind of see the through, there's thousands of people swimming and these, mm. like there's five of us working. Yeah. There's probably someone at South and there's two lifeguards and then mm. there's one or two, you yeah. know, up in, up in the tower. So it's, it's a hard situation. Yeah. And depending on the people too, sometimes it could turn into an all-in brawl. Yeah. And there's been situations over the years where they haven't captured that on camera because it's been off when yeah. the guys aren't filming. But you know, you, you do see the odd all-in brawl fight, and it's not good for anyone nah. because uh, no one innocent, wins. no one wins, and innocent people get hurt yeah. and injured. And yeah, it's just a bit of a free-for-all. Yeah. So yeah, Corey, I, I can't remember this clip, but I'm sure Corey takes charge, which he yeah. has, and, and de-escalates it. Yeah. You gotta go, mate. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Go. we are going now. We are going now, yeah. He knew he'd been caught red-handed. And he so, he got off scot-free there, like. Yeah. It sucks. It's not good, but. Like, it sucks, but there's only so much we can do. I saw like these a few girls and they were like yelling at this gentleman and they were saying, oh, delete the photo, delete the photo. They're obviously sunbaking topless. No? <laughs> <laughs> if Jake's reacting like that, they must be bad. <laughs> delete, delete. Oh, look, delete. We have a protocol to, again, we can't take someone's property off them. You know, police have the powers and the laws to do that. We can willingly ask someone to hand over their phone or their camera and we can have a look and make our own judgment yeah. of what's going on. Yeah. And in this case, this gentleman's handed Jake his camera, which he, you know, he probably thought he hasn't done nothing wrong. Clearly Jake's reaction, he has done a few things wrong, but Jake's going through now and seeing the evidence of what he was doing. Yeah. If we weren't doing that, the police would come down and yeah. they would do this and then they'll escort the person off the beach and give him a, is it a 12 hour, 24 yeah, hour ban, move on, order, move on order. Mate, I can call the police. No English. No English, like woo, woo, woo. <laughs> he didn't speak any English and he said he didn't know what he was doing, but it's, you know, it's hard to say. I think he knew exactly what he was doing. Delete. You're a creep. Yeah, You're a creep. creep. <laughs> There's too many. If, if I don't take this, you will go to the police to go like this, like the police <laughs> will come. Okay? Because you can't, no, you can't take photos of the girls. It's amazing how good lifeguards become good at sign language or an inter, uh, international language of 
gesture. movements and gesture. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Where, you know, in this case, he's doing the jail and the yeah. police and the, you know, send him off. But, you know, when we're, people are swimming, you know, Getting you need, a, attention. You need, <laughs> a, you need <laughs> to swim between the flags <laughs> that, way. that way. And I always seem to understand. So, or we do the, or we, you drown. <laughs> you drown. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Yeah, we've just um, had a report from a member of the public that between the middle set of flags, a um, pervert has been caught taking photos of just women. The topless women are completely unaware they're being photographed. Yet, what this the man doesn't realise yeah. is that he's... Is that gone with the... That's with it. Is it? Oh, mate, he's so blatantly doing it. The chapo's called the police. And we've caught a bloke taking photos of girls on the beach, like real sleazy and sly. And we'd like some officers to come down and attend if they could. So that's going in for a filter that look. makes all our hair look red on that. <laughs> Your hair's definitely red. Chapo, I could see him with his arms folded, taking photos sort of out the bottom of his... Is that him um, in the white shirt? Camera, ...and then he'd just go sit down, pull his towel over his lap. Is this the English guy that gets sent home? I think it is. He was the one going back to his tent to sort himself out. I love like catching these blokes. <laughs> yeah. Like, and it's good fun when we get to go a bit undercover and walk up the prom and you kind of can blend into the crowd and then surprise them. And there's been some good chases like mm. up into the car park. I caught that bloke in Ravisi stealing bags. Mm. But like, yeah, when they start attending to themselves <laughs> on the <laughs> sand, it's, it's, that's a no-go zone. Yeah, he's having a look at them now. If it's nervous, the man will escape before police arrive. Do you think people are just dumb or they 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 think they can get away with it? Mate. A woman's just reported that he's uh, doing stuff under the towel. After he goes and takes all the photos, he's looking at them and he's um oh. himself, so Yeah, it's not good. You know, if you see someone doing some indecent exposure, um, i.e. what this gentleman's doing under the towel, you need to get that person. Uh, you need to confront that person. Yeah. You need to explain to that person what they're doing is wrong in a public place. And um, you need to get the police down there as quickly as possible. And you also need to, yeah, move them on if you can. Yeah. Because, um, you know, down, especially down North Bondi, you get a lot of kids and a lot of families. Yeah. You know, people shouldn't be exposed to that sort of stuff nah. in public. Yeah. And um, this is a quite an old episode, so I, I can't really remember what happens, but I'm sure Whippet going incog incognito without a shirt, going down there to confront yeah. Aaron Buckins, obviously seen on the binoculars that he's doing something dodgy under the towel. Under the towel. I wonder what he's doing. <laughs> I wonder what he's doing too, Will. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out. And wait for the coppers, we're going to get him red-handed. Hello, sir. Hello. Craig McGuinness is my name from Bondi Police Station. Geez, you wouldn't want to be the poor copper having to put him in handcuffs. <laughs> Photos of some of the other people on the beach today. Yeah. Has that been the case? Yeah. Are you aware that's actually an offence? No. What sort of photos have you been taking, sir? Uh, topless. Honest about it. And was anybody so, aware that you were actually... Not that you ever want to see this happen, but I know, like myself, that day when you catch someone doing the wrong thing in the act and then they get dusted and off the beach, especially when it's creepy, stuff like that. I, it's sort of one of the things I like about our job, <laughs> eh, is getting to keep other people safe, though, not just in the water, but protecting them on the land as well. You did a great job. How old were you there? <laughs> I look about 12. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Check out the Bondi Rescue channel for more videos like this.